Supreme Court today made stern observations while hearing the Amabi Party government's plea challenging LG's power to nominate members, also known as the Aldermen. In the MCD House, the bench headed by Chief Justice of India remarked giving the LG powers to nominate the Aldermen in the MCD would mean that he could destabilize an elected civic body. The Supreme Court had also questioned the source of the power of the LG to nominate 10 aldermen to the MCD without the aid and advice of the elected government. After making these observations, the court reserved its order. My colleague Harisha is joining me on the phone line to get us more details. Harisha, yet another strong observations being made by the Supreme Court where they have categorically questioned the LG's power to nominate members also known as aldermen in the MCD House. They have also gone on to say that if the LG is granted this sort of position, uh, power, then they can always uh, pose a threat to destabilize the elected civic body. Yes, in fact, Supreme Court has in fact uh, agreed uh, with the Delhi government's argument that uh, the uh, 10 aldermen uh, cannot, could not have been appointed in the MCD house by the governor without the aid and advice of uh, the chief minister or the cabinet of ministers that is the elected Delhi government. Uh, the uh, principle which was laid down in the recent uh, Supreme Court judgment and once again, uh, while reserving the judgment in the petition filed by Delhi government challenging appointment of uh, 10 aldermen by LG in MCD house, uh, Chief Justice Tandrachu remarked that uh, is the nomination of people who have specialized knowledge in a local body such great concern to Union of India. By giving this power the, to LG, he can destabilize the democratically elected MCD. Remember, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, additional solicitor general Sanjay Jain, who uh, argued on behalf of the um, LG office, had defended powers to appoint the Alderman and MC Sari House. Uh, he said that the power uh, is given to the LG and the center by the Delhi Municipal Corporation Act and MCD is an institution of self-government. Administrator's role remained untouched, original definition retained even after several amendments. The affidavit filed by the LG office had said and I read, uh, governance of municipalities is independent of regime of governance of the elected state governments. Notably, the DMC Act was further amended by Delhi Legislative Assembly for trification of MCD, which received assent of the President. By this amendment also, term government was substituted in various provisions. This amendment act did not, uh, in fact, uh, the, uh, in fact, did not uh, uh, also uh, give supremacy to the uh, uh, administrator, which is the governor in this case, and subsequent amendments are also upheld uh, this argument. So, in a way, the Supreme in the, uh, LG tried to defend uh, his appointment of uh, uh, 10 aldermen in the MCD house, uh, but now judgment has been, has been reserved in this matter, and very soon the Chief Justice uh, Deva Chandrachur bench is expected to pronounce verdict in this matter. But very serious uh, uh, observations made once again by the Supreme Court saying that, uh, previously we are of the view that uh, the 10 aldermen could not have been appointed by the governor without aid and advice of the Council of Ministers.